Okay, last questions. What are the five tips you would give every starting personal trainer to have great success? Five, five tips. Um, all right, let's see if we can map this out. So uh, one, kind of what I talked about before, put yourself in an environment where you can have a lot of people in front of you. Yeah. So I would really, as, and then many trainers, they have aspirations to owning their own gym, uh, owning their own studio. Don't do that in, until six years of experience at least. And I don't know why I say six, but lots of years of experience. Train a lot of different types of people. Really find your passion and fine-tune your skills before you even think about opening up your own studio. And it's important that you put yourself in an environment that you can have a lot of people. Even if the gym doesn't pay you that well. Well, you know what? Right now, at your starting point, experience is more important. Yeah. So get people in front of you. So number one, get experience. Um, two, create, create a plan. Create a one-year, a three-year, and a five-year plan. In one year, what the heck are you doing? Where are you training? Who are you training? How much money are you, uh, are you making? How much are, how much are you charging? What education have you been uh, participating in within this one-year plan? How about the three-year plan and the five-year plan? Creative vision. This has been very, very important. As human beings, I might make the argument that we have the capacity to create our own future. Yeah, You see it all the time in science fiction, don't you? Remember in Star Trek where they used to have iPads and these, <laughs> these really – well, guess what's happening right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming alive. Yeah. You have the power to be able to create your own future. You really do. But you have to envision it. You have to start to map it out and organize it because what's cool about it, when you organize it, your behaviors and your thoughts are going to be around that plan. Therefore, you're going to start to create behaviors around executing that plan. If you don't have that set out – that your behaviors will be different than somebody who wants to actually achieve that actual plan. Yeah. So, so two, create a plan. Three, uh, I briefly mentioned this, keep your education up. Yeah, very important. We, as I said, leaders in the industry, if we're humble enough to say we don't know exactly what, what's going on, we have lots of experience and we read lots of cool research and articles out there, but we only could infer what's actually happening with our clients. Because last time I don't, we don't have X-ray vision and we can't measure molecules and all that kind of stuff, right? You know, as we train somebody. So, if you ever come to a, a point where you're like, "Man, I pretty much know everything there is to know," you, you're doing something wrong. You're yeah. doing something horribly wrong. Because I, I honestly, we will never figure out this this thing that we call a human body. We'll never figure it out by our lifetime. Yeah, but that's the that's, 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 that's the fun part. Yeah. That's the fun part, man. It's just to explore that, right? So, yeah. at least for me, it is. So keep your education up. Um, set a set set a budget and time aside. You know where you're gonna. I'm gonna go to these one or these two or these three things a year, and make sure it's around your passion. Yeah. Okay. Four. Four get some mentors. Yeah. And I say mentors, not a mentor. Mentors, because we can each facilitate your learning experience differently. And some of us are very good at some things and not so good at others. Don't come to me if you want to be good at marketing. I'm not very good at that. Yeah. If you want me to teach you how to run a gym, I can't do that. But I can tell you to be one heck of a personal trainer. So I will help you with the sciences and the application of personal training. So you find mentors for different aspects of your business. And that way you become better. And then number five, I said it earlier, it's that mantra. of Always remember to train the human being, not just the human body. Yeah. This experience of personal training is more than just the physical. It's about the mental, emotional, and the spiritual as well. Include that in your training. When you work with somebody, know that you're there to create a bond, to be their guide. You, you, are, you are lucky enough to be a part of their life, to be able to facilitate a change, and yeah. an amazing change if you really think about it, right? It's usually life-changing. So I, you know, be humble enough to recognize that when you, as a, a great trainer, when they when they start to learn that this is just as a, much of an emotional experience for somebody as it is a physical one, then you, you've you've you're really hitting the mark. You you become it doesn't. I mean, honestly, the most a lot of the successful trainers out there who have a huge business, they couldn't they could barely tell you what this muscle is, and what what joints what motions are occurring. 
But you know what makes them really successful is they're great human beings that other human beings want to be associated with. Yeah. People find more value in connecting and developing trust and rapport and empathy with an individual than how much knowledge you have. Mm-hmm. Knowledge is important. Not, I'm not saying it's not important. But I might argue that, I mean, it's very evident, too, that, that the mental and emotional and the, psych, the, the psychological aspect of the human being and understanding our clients in that perspective is very important. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is that five? Yeah, that's five. <laughs> okay, the last one.